There we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer Alex. Welcome to Reaping Sins. This is a interesting looking short horror game I found on itch.io, so of course, let's give it a try, because these tend to be some of the most funniest ones, and possibly scariest ones as well. So let's see what we got. Wow, okay, we store up a house burning down. That's a way to start a game. Seems like a nightmare was dreamed. I need to go wash up. I've never dreamt about a house being on fire, but to be fair, I never remember my dreams as soon as I wake up. What's this? Oh, it's a light switch. Nice. Well, oh, my allergies hate me. <laughs> well, like, okay then. I guess someone's not a fan of art, huh? <laughs> Well, to be fair, what? Okay, who just keeps some random painting like this in their house? <laughs> okay, what am I saying? I, pr I probably would, but it'd be probably just like it'd probably be like a movie poster or something. A useless cabinet. I don't even open it. This sofa has a terrible smell. Get some Febreze, my man. Get yourself some Febreze. Start spraying. How modern technology comes in handy. I felt that. I got the microwave. The stove. Oh, the hell is that? Mate, you never keep your creepy dolls next to your tea kettle. You know never to do that. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the heck this thing is. It's just a weird looking doll. It's not even like a voodoo doll or anything, just a weird looking doll. Oh, don't tell me it's going to be gone while I like, turn around or something. Did I just hear running? Did I just hear footsteps? Was it you? Hmm? No, you still staying there. Okay. Whee! I'm okay. I'm okay. Just had a heart attack. I'm okay. The hell was that? Was that the ghost of a girl's count? <laughs> That's kind of what it looked like for a second there. It, I saw it for a split second while it was giving a heart attack, but it looked like a ghost girl scout. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I just saw, but it gave me a heart attack. Damn. <laughs> we we play like this, huh? We playing like this, huh? Bring it. The doll's still over. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought it was wetting on the door. Okay. Ignore the phone, take a dump. Ah. Guess we're answering the phone first. Hey yo, nobody wants your thin mints! Go away! <laughs> Is this guy being haunted by the ghost of a Girl Scout? Because actually, now that I say that out loud, that'd be kind of... Oh, that's dark, actually. Wait a minute. Okay, now that I say that out loud, that is dark, if that's the case. Okay. Hey, 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 do not do that. I just want to pay my electrical bill. Who's calling me? Ooh. Ignore the call, I'm reading the newspaper. Okay. A night tragedy, a man smoking, okay. Okay, I muted the game itself for a second just so I could read this. A night tragedy, a man smoking a cigarette, Axel set fire to the house where his wife and daughter were located. Oh, wait, wife and daughter? The ghost girl scout, could that be the daughter? I'm probably mis going to mispronounce this, but Gaborn? G Gaboron? 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 That still doesn't sound right. That word. <laughs> April 17th. Lives of many families in our city have been shattered after a horrifying tragedy that occurred last night. Near the hours when the world was asleep, a small suburban house became the site of a dreadful incident. A man returning home after a tough work day accidentally set fire to his family house 
of a cigarette. Inside were his wife and young daughter. Yeah. As reported by witnesses, smoking often caused disputes between a man and his wife. It's likely Vallese's is to become another reminder of how dangerous it is to ignore safety when smoking indoors. Amen to that. <laughs> At the time of the incident, his 34-year-old wife, Anne, and their 12-year-old daughter, Maria. Okay, so maybe it might be Maria who's, like, haunting us. Oh, wait, are we the dad? Are we playing as the dad? Ooh, because remember, at the very beginning of the game, we saw some guy crying in front of a burning house. So are we playing as the dad being haunted by his daughter who he accidentally killed? Ooh, big brain. When the fire began to spread, both were already asleep. Rescuing them became impossible despite the, despite the, despite the efforts of neighbors who tried to help. The fire quickly engulfed the house, turning it into ruins. Fire department personal, per personnel... I can't speak, jeez. Fire department personnel arrived at the scene within a few mittens. Uh, few mittens? Minutes! I can't speak today! Ugh. After the call, but the fire proved to be too intense and coolly spread throughout the house. The rescuers were only able to prevent the fire from spraying to neighboring houses and alleviate the suffering of the families whose lives were shattered by this tragedy. Local residents are in a state of shock and are fervently discussing how something like this could happen. The answer to this question will be the subject of investigation by law. Ugh, sorry. By law enforcement agencies, the man whose negligence led to this tragedy is in a deeply shaken state and will require psychological support during this difficult period. Okay, yeah, it definitely seems like we might be playing as the dad who accidentally set fire to his wife and daughter. Do you remember me? Who is this, damn it? How did you get my number? Your daughter. Remember how you set fire to the house we're in? Yep, we're being haunted by the daughter. Nonsense. I might still be asleep. Mom and I'll be waiting for you in the house across the street. Don't try to run away. It's time to pay for everything. Everyone must reap for their own sins. So, do we go to the house across the street? It says go outside. <laughs> okay. Well, okay then. I can't tell if that's supposed to be the daughter Maria or Annie. Oh, we got a flashlight. Great. Wait, wh where are we? We just live in the middle of nowhere? Oh! I see you up there in the window. I see you up there watching me. There's always someone watching for a window. Somebody's watching me. I got no privacy. Go to the house opposite. Listen. What the? Okay. I see you already coming to us. Why am I been waiting for you? I didn't want to do this. I already blame myself to this day after that night. Who are you and what do you want from me? We just want to see you suffer. Have you already met with mom in the woods? She will fix it soon. Mary, if it's really you, forgive me. I am truly guilty, but I didn't want to hurt you. It's already too late. Okay, I know the phone rang, but... I guess I'll just continue to the house opposite. Ugh, my allergies are bad today. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, okay then. Um, I would just. Oh, there's a house over here. Could this be the house they are burned in? I mean, it doesn't really look too burnt, but it does look a little bit destroyed. But also, I was not expecting her just to slide over to us like that. <laughs> I was not expecting that. How far away is this house to opt to? Uh oh. Hey, hey now, you a rock star. Keep the flashlight on. We good? We good. I say, don't be playing my, my, my flashlight now. No, no, no. That's not a good sign either.
No, I don't believe it. She's not my wife. I should probably go home. Um. Well, okay then. I guess we're returning home. Okay. What the? Okay, that wasn't the wife or the daughter. Who was that? That was a skinless man. Skinless man just... I, I, huh? Was not expecting random surprise appearance of a skinless man. Okay. Well, okay then. Oh, oh well. <laughs> I guess he just paid for his sins. <laughs> That was well done. That was really well done. Actually got me to that first scare in the hallway. That one got me good. I don't really understand the skinless man thing that just suddenly appeared. It just kind of ran from one tree to like the other side. I don't really understand that because that wasn't the wife nor the daughter. Maybe that's supposed to be some sort of like representation of the husband we were playing as, but I, I don't know. But still, this was really well done. It got me good that first jump scare. That was really good. That was really good. This was fun. <laughs> These fun little indie games are always fun and can give you some actual good heart attacks, you know? <laughs> well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me in the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, then we'll leave it in the comments down below. Ugh. If you guys have any gaming recommendations at all... Oh, wait, I already did that part. Sorry, my allergies kicked in there. Well, I'll just say it again. If you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do put those in the comments down below so I can check them out and plan our channel. But until then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.